Yeah, Silverstone was a was a good result. You know, um, Saturday was very disappointing, but Sunday was was good. Um, rising from 14th to fourth, I couldn't really get any more out of the car. You know, my race pace was good. Um, it was great to put on a show for the British British fans. I wish I could have got on the podium, but it wasn't wasn't possible. But um, a great result, and I think uh, you know, a second and a fourth for the British public. I, I think they were pretty happy with that. It was very special for me. The, the response I got in Silverstone was, every year it seems to get, it grows more and more and more and the support we get is it, just constantly growing. You know, more and more children coming, more and more families and the support I got was incredible and I, of course you want to go there and win and, and do your country proud but I think the fight that I put in, I think uh, it, even just coming second was, was a good result and a good weekend for them. Uh, this weekend, you know, podium position is, is what we have to do uh, if we want to keep fighting for the championship. So, podium position is 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 on the cards, I think. And hopefully, our updates are going to work, and we can really fight the rebels here. And we've got to aim for the top step of the podium here in Hockenheim. I feel that I've prepared myself well. I feel fit. I feel that um, the setup of the car should be good this weekend. I know the circuit. Um, generally going very well here in Germany, so I feel that we can be competitive, but you will never know until Friday, Saturday morning. I like the track, to be honest. Um, it's quite small, um, but it's, it's got a really cool back straight, so you can do some overtaking here. Then you come into it from, from quite an open complex to a really tight complex at the end into the stadium um, which is is actually is very narrow because it's the old circuit and it's really really narrow so it's very it's you only just about fit two cars alongside each other as where other circuits nowadays you can do almost four abreast you know so it's it's pretty old school they call it burn diffuser and basically the exhaust we normally used to have used to come up Come out, out, come out, the engine goes down, the exhaust go up, and they, they face the, the rear wing, basically. As where now, they've moved those pipes down to the floor. So these exhausts come down to the floor, and when you get on the power, the, uh, the gases that are released from the car, or the air that's flowing through the, through the air duct and in the engine and out, comes out of the exhaust, all that air is, is, is forced onto, the, onto a certain point of the rear floor. So, one specific point which is the most uh, powerful which is part of the diffuser uh, and it create, helps generate more suction to the ground. Uh, the, the new diffuser should, should work here, you know we had a few little issues at Silverstone. Um, here hopefully it will help and it's, it's really going to help us with traction, also high speed cornering so um, yeah I'm looking forward to, to getting that on the car and seeing the improvement here. You always want competition. That's what we're here for. We wouldn't want to be here winning easily. Or if there was no one here and we were just doing the race, it would be boring. So it's, it's really you want the closest competition you can possibly get. And when you go out and you see other guys that are faster than you, it's really such a challenge to try and figure out uh, how, and w uh, how and why they're, they're so fast and how you can catch up and, and overtake them. It's a great position to be in, you know, fighting for a world championship this year. Um, with four or five top teams as well. So, yeah, I think if you, you know, every time you win a race or even go on the podium this year, it means so much and maybe more than any other year. Uh, the Moscow demo was a new experience for me. You know, I've never been to Moscow, uh, never been to Russia. Uh, so, driving around the Kremlin in an F1 car, I mean, there's it's something that most people will never get to, to do. So. Uh, a great experience and there were also so many fans there, I think, you know, Formula One's got so big in Russia now because of the demos we do in, uh, in Moscow but also because of Vitaly Petrov and, uh, um, you know, I look forward to having a Grand Prix there one day, I think it'll be a, a great atmosphere. Mm -hmm.